The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode, we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from University of British Columbia. COVID-19 has significantly increased the suicide risk for people already experiencing mental health challenges or dealing with marginalization. The findings come from a survey by the Canadian Mental Health Association CMHA and University of British Columbia. 6% of those surveyed said they experienced suicidal thoughts and feelings during the outbreak. The number rose to 18% for those with pre-existing mental health challenges. 16% for indigenous people, 15% for those with a disability, and 14% for those people who identify as LGBTQ+. These individuals are twice as likely as those without a mental health issue to say that their mental health has declined amidst the pandemic. The results show how COVID-19 is disproportionately affecting the mental health of various subgroups of Canadians. CMHA's national CEO, Margaret Eaton, stresses the need to invest in community mental health programs and services, improve our nationwide suicide prevention plan, and use this opportunity to fix our system long term. The survey also suggested that children are very vulnerable to mental health effects. 24% of parents have described a deterioration in their children's mental health. Parents and kids are dealing with all kinds of stresses, from money to job losses, to being able to feed their families. Those facing discrimination, systemic racism or disabilities are especially vulnerable. But many are finding ways to protect their mental health. For example, 59% of those surveyed exercise, 56% are connecting with family and friends. But these are not adequate or accessible measures for everyone. Canada needs a comprehensive mental health strategy, which includes ways to address social conditions that shape these mental health outcomes and to protect and promote mental health for all. This story was adapted from Lou Corpus Bosart's UBC News article, COVID-19 survey highlights growing suicide and mental health risks across various groups. UBC nursing professor Emily Jenkins and UBC population public health professor Anne Gederman were lead and co-leads respectively for this study.